Hello everybody, my name is Lady Gear Dehu, and welcome to my brand new let's play that is not Mario and Luigi Bowser's and Death Story. Yeah, I made you think. I'm really going to be doing playing The Legend of Zelda for Sword. Fear my finger. Sorry about that, I got distracted. So, basically, what's happening is that Link and Zelda have, have, uh, since weakness in the seal, the, uh, the, the evil windmaids Vati was sealed in, the four sword, and, um, did you guys know, I don't remember if it was, uh, I don't remember if Force... <sighs> Just so you guys know, I've never played Zelda Force Sword Adventures. I don't know if it's a sequel, or a prequel, or both to this game. But, anyway, if this cutscene would just hurry up so we can actually get to the game, that'd be really nice. Yeah, wait a second. This guy has an eyeball. We must shoot him with an arrow! Because <laughs> after all, that is the logic of Zelda. See something with an eyeball? Suit it. He has a more epic voice than I do. For that, you must die. <laughs> Wimp. I should probably be describing how exactly this game appeared on the DS. I don't remember its origins from on the Game Boy Advance. From what I remember, uh, they just wanted to create a multiplayer experience for the Game Boy Advance version of Zelda Link to the Past. I think that's what happened. I don't remember. But um, to celebrate Zelda's 25th anniversary, which, uh, uh, Nintendo re-released for Sword on the DS and 3DS. Uh, I'm playing, I'm playing this game on the DS, uh, cause, I, cause it, uh, I'm playing this game on the DS, uh, uh cause I don't really own a 3DS right now. And these butterflies are telling us that if we collect enough rubies, we can bribe the fairies into letting us uh, travel into the sky. Hooray. So, as you can see, they added the... They made a few changes, not a whole lot, but the biggest uh, thing they changed is the fact that you can now play in single player. In single player, the original Game Boy Advance version did not was only a multiplayer game. You can play. You always 
by default play as a green link, but you can also play as a red, the blue, or the purple. And why in the world is there a purple in there? Honestly. Um, I'll be alternating between the colors in each video. I'll start off with the red, because that's my favorite color. So, um, I could just skip ahead and go to these places, but just to be organized, I'm going to show you this place first. Okay, if we travel into these warps, we can get out of here, but like I said a second ago, I'm going to be going through all of these. We'll just get that same. That teaches you how to use items, and these warp zones take you to a specific point in that one. Uh, wait. There's a boomerang in this game? Since when was there a boomerang in this game? Yeah. Anyway, that little thing right there, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Um, I'm going to be entering this place. Um, you should really check out the first turns first. But I'm probably not going to be doing those right now. I'll probably do those in the future in a, in a bonus video. But not right now. Bah! must destroy! Pick him up! Anyway, this this little place pretty much teaches you the basic of the basics of the game. What's over here? Yeah, so the game it's basically built around collecting rubies. Um you don't actually have to collect every single ruby in the game. Um, you just need 1,000 to beat, to beat the area, uh, which isn't really all that hard, there are like rubies everywhere. You need, uh, uh three or, three or five thousand, uh, to, un if you beat the level, I'm just gonna have to follow the guy over there. Okay, if you collect 1,000 rubies, you'll get a you'll get a silver key in the area. If you collect a, if you collect three or five thousand, you'll get a golden key. And if you collect the and after you collect 30,000 on your save file, pretty much meaning all together then you will unlock a special realm called the Hero's Trial. It's going to take you a very long time to get that much. Um, so, because of that, I'm going to be uploading this, this Let's Play slower than... Uh, I'm going to be uploading this Let's Play slower than New Super Mario Brothers. There are also a few other, uh, I'm not going to be spoiling just yet what exactly happens after you, or what exactly happens after you collect 30,000 rubies on your save file. But I'm just going to, how do you get over there? But I'm just going to 
to you right now. It's worth it. The place is awesome. Um, I don't, um, uh, there are actually two special areas in this game that weren't in the Game Boy Advance versions. I'm not going to be spoiling what either one of them are, but the one you get after 30,000 rubies, uh, that's called a Hero's Trial. I'm going to be talk. I'm going to be, I will be covering that. And since that you guys pretty much get the basics of the game now, I'm going to be cutting this video. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Four Sword, we're going to be tackling the Sea of Trees. See you guys then.